there comes a time in everyone's life where terrible neighbors force you to move out of your home. That time has come for me. Look at what has happened to me. Somebody has uh, built a bunch of snow golems that for some reason I cannot kill. I will show you in a second. Look at this. I can't, I don't have permission. I can't even kill these guys. So they're walking around here like they own the place, laying snow everywhere. I mean, come on. Look, I can't break this sign. I can't break these blocks. I can't break this sign. I can't even break this redstone. I can't break this log. This this is like terrible. This is like something out of a movie. What's that? What's that movie? Bad Neighbors, I think it is. This is what that is. I mean, I don't mind people living right next to me as long as this isn't happening. So guess what? It's time to move. I got I to gotta scout a nice new location. I think I had scouted a location before um, a while back in a previous episode, and I said that I would move there if I ever needed to move, but I looked at the cohorts, and it's way too close. People will find me again. <laughs> Not that I don't want to be found. I like to make it difficult on you, though. By the way, this doesn't really bother me, but I do think it's time to, to find a bigger house, um, a bigger place. And yeah, this is a little bit annoying. Not going to lie. Oh, hey, I can delete that or, or remove that. I just can't kill the snow golems. That's kind of weird. Anyway, today we're going to scout for a new location. We're going to continue to find some Pokemons. Also, the battle tower. Apparently, you're supposed to do the battle tower in one shot. Like one go in the battle tower. I don't know if I can do that, but maybe I'll try. Who knows? Maybe I'll try. Um, okay, first things first. Let's do some reconnaissance. What are we reconnaissancing for, might you ask? We're reconnaissancing um, for a new location to live in. I, I have a couple of ideas. You know, I've wanted to live in a snowy biome for a while now, so maybe that'll be it. I'll call it the Great White North. It'll also be known as Canada. Uh, but first, I'm looking around this savanna. I'm looking for another Dreepy. I want to evolve this guy because I feel like I feel like it's going to be a good one. Grass and Ghost. Or sorry, not grass. Sorry, dra Dragon and Ghost. Not a very common combination. Clear body is good. I don't know if that's a hidden ability or not. Probably not. But they do spawn in savannas at night, just like in the last episode. So I'm going to walk around here first before we start looking for a new location. Um, oh, hi there, dudes. Look at them just flying in sync like that. In place. What are you, hummingbirds? Um, yeah, so we're going to look around here, hopefully find a Dreepy at night. Um, if not, we'll uh, we'll try again some other time. But yeah, I have a couple ideas where I want to live. I'll show you a couple of locations after this night passes. Look at this guy. Is this like a tiny a tiny guy? Oh, look at you. They're actually cool looking Pokemon. They kind of look like stealth fighter heads with like uh, worm bodies. Never thought I'd say. That's a sentence I probably would never have guessed I would ever say in my entire life. Okay, it is uh, level 40. Uh-oh, level 40. I don't know how I'm going to damage it. Poison jab, toxic, boom burst. I, don't, I think I'm going to kill it with anything I throw at it. Wait, maybe if I use my Dreepy versus... That drippy. Oh, wow. Astonish. Dead. Okay. Yikes. Um. All right. All right. We're just going to throw some balls at it, I guess, and hope that we catch it over and over and over again, possibly. Do I have a timer ball on me? Oh, wow. I caught it. I caught it first shot. Wait. What is this? A level up Krakey. Oh, because I just leveled up because I caught a drippy. Oh, wow, and the sun just came up. This was good timing all around. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I don't, I'm don't. i not interested in you. Um, okay, so we caught a Dreepy. That's nice. That's nice. I need to find out what the heck is... Oh, man. Okay, so I thought I saw wings on a tall cylindrical object. I thought that was a, this whole thing was a Pokemon. I'm an idiot. I, I mean, I didn't think it was. I was like, what the heck is that? Is it a Pokemon? You know, I'm not... That's stupid. Uh, let's see what this Dreepy is slash, um, is it home? Yeah, it's slash home for now. <laughs> not not for long. Oh, good. Internet is acting great. Uh, let's see. Dreepy, where you at? Right here. Let's put you in box two. You are a clear body again, so that's probably a common um, ability that we got. Of course, Astonish, a bite infestation, quick attack, and it is a lax nature. Yeah, I don't think I like the nature on this one either. A mild nature. We want the attack boosted or the speed. A timid nature would be good too, I think. I think. Okay, well, we'll look for more later on in the episode. I need three anyway, so I can have the first, second, and third evolutions in my collection. Um, but in the meantime, let me show you where I was thinking about living. How about this spot? 
It's nice and secluded. It's peaceful, it's quiet. I've even got my own pond. Check it out. My own little pond, just like real life. I actually do have a pond in real life on my property. It's great and I love it. We actually have two, technically we have three. We have two ponds and a swamp. But anyway, oh look at you. I never realized the gradient on the greedent. Wait, this isn't a greedent yet, right? It's a squavit, right? Uh, but that, yeah, that's pretty cool. Is that different? Or I just never noticed it before. I think I just never noticed it before. But yeah, I was thinking about it. What about, what if we built a nice, little log cabin or just a cabin looking thing or just a nice comfortable home right here it's secluded right so it's you gotta like take some you gotta walk through some some forestry to get to it and then right in my backyard i could have stairs going down into the pond and just like enjoy my little pond life i think i'm gonna circle it a little bit more though it looks too squared right now but i think this might be it guys i think this might be it it's time to claim these blocks the great moving is complete. Oh, I forgot this. I'll take that with me. I'll leave these heads here, the heads of my enemies. I mean friends. Friends. All of them friends. Um, I'll leave these heads here. I'll leave this place just like I left it. That's kind of weird to say. But anyway, yeah, look. Everything's gone, guys. Everything is gone. It has been moved into my new location. I was going to say new home, but the home hasn't been built yet here. Let me show you what I got going on already. I cleared out a few trees here. This is where the cabin is going to be. I've got a little staircase down here. This is my temporary um, storage room. It might even be my permanent storage room eventually. I don't know. Maybe I won't even put the storage inside my house anymore. I'll make it look prettier, though. It's kind of ugly right now. But yeah, up here, cabin's going to be here. I've got markers set up as well for my uh, claimed land limits. There's one there. There's another one, I think. Another one should be around... There it is. There's the other one. Then there's another one way down there. So, you know, there it is. And then there's one in that corner over there. So, yeah, even if people find me, which I don't mind if they do, um, it's going to be tough to, to troll me, I hope. <laughs> I think I'm inviting some trolling. Um, it's gonna, I hope it'll be tough. Please don't. Please don't. I really like this place. I don't want to move again. I've even started rounding off the, the pond a little bit. I, I think I want to make it a little more natural looking. So I might even chop that tree down and extend the pond a little bit who knows who knows but for now look we're doing great one other thing i did while i was organizing my stuff i was organizing my generation 8 pixelmon so generation 8 pixelmon i am only missing one pokemon in this box this is uh some of the new ones that i've caught uh mixed with some of the other ones but yeah we're missing quite a few here and then this here is where it stopped well i guess the evolution so it stops here as to what's been added so far into the uh the newest pixelmon update from here all of these are supposedly blank as well so we're not missing a whole lot we're missing the two evolutions of dreepy and then we're missing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen forty sixteen seventeen total pokemon that's not too bad that's not too bad but it's also not good so <laughs> so we're gonna go searching for some more pokes right now we're in a taiga, and we're doing it taiga style. Who gets that reference? If you get that reference, my goodness, we can be best friends. We're looking for something in, sp in specific. <laughs> we're looking for a Hatena. It's a psychic Pokemon. Oh, my gosh. That is insane. I was just going to say it's a rare poke, a rare spawn. Okay, it's a level 20. I'm a level 31 with Karkul. Am I able to actually? There we go. Um, uh-oh. Yeah, maybe I'll just try to catch it with the balls again. I was just about to say, we're looking for a hat tenant. It's a rare spawn in a taiga biome during the day. We're in a tiger, taiga biome. I keep saying tiger. Uh, biome during the day, and we caught it immediately. That is nice. Huh. Okay, that's good. You know what? We're, we're Oh, wait. Maybe we should look for another one because it has evolutions. You know what? I'm going to spend a little more time here. And we're going to... Oh, I thought I just found another one. That would be amazing. We're going to spend a little more time here. Look for another one. There's a green. Hey, buddy. You look... You know, all the Pokemons look different to me today. I'm not sure why. But whatever. I'm sure it's just me. Try to find another one. Maybe we can... Maybe we can evolve... We can even evolve it in this episode. That'd be kind of cool. There's a lot of Pachirizus here. I know that for sure. Was only able to catch the one. So let's check out its nature. We're looking for a modest nature. We have, it's a healer ability. Ooh, sometimes heals an ally status condition. That's kind of cool. 
Um, and is it a, oh, it's a relaxed nature. Hmm. That's kind of a bummer. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to live with that. Look at all these mills. You know what we should do, actually, is we should totally... Hold on. Why did I do that? We should totally um, evolve one of the milseries we got. Oh, by the way, these are like the Galarian version of non-Generation 8 Pokemon. So technically, they were added in Generation 8, or at least in the update, the latest update. And um, they, they, they don't fit into the regular list of Generation 8 Pokemon. So they're just like the Galarian versions, and I'm putting them in, uh, in Box 8. So in case you're wondering where those went, there they are. Where is the other milseries? All right, what is the stat? Adamant natured milsery. I think we want a. I think we also want a modest natured milsery. Am I right? They're probably special attackers here. This is a sassy one. Why do I keep clicking them? Oh, here we go. Mild is not bad, I think. And docile. I think we try mild here. Let's put these guys away temporarily, and we're going to, like, just grab all our milseries and choose between them. Or we can go hunt for some more because I know they spawn regularly at my old home slash home around here. But I can't remember if it's day or night. After doing some research, I realized the best natured mil... It's a defensive-based Pokemon. Like it's more of a defensive Pokemon. So we want a nature like bold or calm. Calm boosts its special defense and lowers its attack. And then bold boosts its, boosts its, its defense. Man. That's like a tongue twister. Boosts its defense and lowers its attack. So we technically have this one, not this one, this one, which is boosted special defense and lowered speed. But I think I'm going to try to catch one or two more. They're pretty common usually around here, especially when I'm not looking for them. But now that I am looking for them, <laughs> it's probably not going to be as common because that's just the way life works. All right, let's take a look around here. Am I able to grab any of these guys? I don't think I am. Bonus. I just got two vote crate keys for gathering a certain number of apricorns. Look at uh, completing an achievement of get tier two of gathering apricorns. Nice. I sh what is slash achieve? Mints. I know how to spell. I promise. Uh, achievements. Completed achievements. Here we go. Claim 20 Poke Loots. Progress 4 of 20. Wow, I have not claimed a lot of Poke Loots. Poke Stops, 4 of 60. Yikes, I could probably claim a lot more of these. Oh, wait. That's part 2. So I technically have claimed the first part, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's how that works. Okay, good. That makes sense. And that works with uh, Poke Loot as well. Yeah, because I feel like I've claimed more than 4. Um, hatching Eggs. I haven't done any of that. Progress. Catch 10, 15 Fish. Now, wait a minute. I've caught a ton of fish before, but maybe it was before this specific update came out with the uh, achievements. Defeat boss Pokemon. One of ten. Part five of five. Oh, okay. So I've defeated more in the past, right? It looks that way. Defeat Mega. Zero of two. Part two of five. Okay. So there's a lot of achievements, guys. I'm not going to go through all these. What is that one? Walking. <laughs> nice. Um, okay, that's kind of cool. I should keep an eye on that every once in a while. Anyway, we're still looking for milseries. Nothing so far, unfortunately, but hopefully so. Usually they spawn like right, up right, right outside my door. I'd come out and there'd be at least one, sometimes two. I don't remember actually if I've ever seen two, but there would be at least one just waiting outside for me. What is this pink bee drill? Is that a shiny? That's a problem because all I have on me is milseries. I, 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 I uh, uh, towered up here. I can't even speak right now because I'm a little bit nervous. I really want to catch this thing, but I am not in any position to catch it. Can I throw this guy out? No, it missed. Can I try? Oh, he's getting closer. Uh-oh, come on. Come on. I will be very upset. It just says Beedrill, but why is he pink? I don't see any particles coming off of him. Usually, shinies have particles. Come why is this Beedrill pink? Huh? Is this a different kind of bee drill? Okay, I think I have to catch it. Well, sweet scent training kiss, sweet a sweet scent, aromatic mist. Which one is the one that confuses? Fury attack. That killed me. Now that guy was level twenty. Oh, I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. Okay, sweet kiss. Toxic spikes. Okay, that's good. Uh, he avoided the attack. I think Sweet Kiss might be the one that confuses. I hope. Aromatic Mist. Let's try that. I think we're going to Toxic Spikes again. 
it failed. I don't know any of these moves. I wasn't ready for this. Avoided the attack. I think Sweet Kiss. Oh, Fury attack. Oh. Oh, B. Joe became confused. That's good. That's good. Maybe now. Oh, gosh. Um, Maybe now I'll start using balls on him because hopefully he confuses, hurts himself a little bit. Broke free. Used focus. He's getting pumped. Is he going to get so pumped that he hurts himself in the process? I hope so. Dusk Ball. He's going to get free again, I'm sure. Use Toxic Spikes on itself. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if he did or not. Um, okay, let's try a tackle. Why not? Let's try to do at least a little, bit of, a little bit of damage while we can. That's a very tiny little bit of damage. I have one with Draining Kiss, but I think he's like... Oh, he fainted my Millstreet. Yeah, he's like level 11 or something. Or it may have been the first one. Aromatic Mist, Tackle, Sweet Kiss, Sweet Scent. Uh, I guess we'll tackle again. He used Agility. Another slight little thing. And now I've been poisoned. Okay, okay. It's now daytime. I don't know why this Beedrill is pink. I'm very, very curious. Let's go, before we start using, or the only timer ball, I should say. Let's try another ball here, an Ultra Ball. I'm hoping that even if he knocks me out, I can re-enter the battle quickly before he takes off on me. Ah, he broke free. He increased his own stats. That's cool. Let's try this again. Maybe, nope, let's try another ball. Gonna try another one. Another Ultra Ball. Come on, buddy, just get in the ball. Just do it. We caught him. We captured Beedrill. And my Milseries grew up a little bit. Okay, so why is that Beedrill special? Okay, so apparently it's just a special texture, but listen to this. It has a rarity of 0 0.05. Like, that is super rare. Look at him. It spawns naturally in uh, Birch's Flowery Forests and Taiga's during the afternoon or dusk. That was, uh, that was quite a rare grab on my part. I'm definitely keeping it. Very, very cool. Does it have any good stats here? Swarm ability? It's a special attacker. Oh, it's probably like the nature you, you want the least out of all of them, right? I would think. Yeah, that's probably not good. Uh, but anyway, it's special and it looks really cool. A Milsery, a level 28 Milsery. All my Milseries are female too, so maybe this one will be male. Who knows? How are we going to... Oh, maybe we can use the Beedrill to catch it. Level 28 to level 35, not a huge difference. Let's do... Ooh, focus energy. Ooh. Hmm. Fury attack is pretty powerful. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, I, I just know it was powerful because I was using Milsery and it killed me with the Fury attack a couple times and those were level 20 Milseries. So um, I guess it's not. Oh, goodness. Oh, right. It's a variable attack. It attacked three times that time. Yikes. Anyway. We're going to catch it, and hopefully um, it's a nature that we want. Calm or, what was it, bold? I think it was calm or bold nature. All right, we caught it, I think. Yep. And here's the special moment. It is a serious nature. Okay. Well, maybe we'll, maybe we'll, maybe we'll, maybe we'll wait for another. Oh, there's another one right there. Perfect timing, my friend. Slash poke, poke, heal. Not level 19 Milsery this time. This time I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to reach into my bag of balls and go ahead and catch him. Hopefully this one's a better nature for us. Oh, he exited immediately. Okay, dude, I'll take you down a little bit. So here's the one I just caught. Oh, this is the one I just caught, and he's holding something. Ooh, what is that? Here, let's get all of these guys in here. This is a special Pokemon. We'll keep him in here with these other special Pokemons. And what are you holding? A star sweet. Oh, wait. That's how you evolve them. You have to feed them sweets at a certain time of day in certain biomes to get different variants of Milsery. Because there's... Or not Milsery, sorry. They're, um, they're evolutions, which I can't remember what they are now. But yeah, there's a bunch of different variations on them. This guy is a gentle nature. Oh, man. Special defense. And then, you know what? I think, I think this one over here, I don't think he's a particularly fast Pokemon. So I think we're going to go with this one right here. Special defense and speed. 
or we can actually check the IVs on these guys and pick the one that we think is best. I promise I know how to type. It's just because there's a mic in front of my face and it's kind of awkward. Uh, 43%. Okay. We can look for the overall percentage first. 53%. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. I said that's... Ah, dang it. Now I got two of them out. Come back and... Get back in your ball. Right. Okay. I have these three. 56%. So, so far, three is the winner. Four. 42%. 5, 42%, and then 6 is 55%. Ooh. Ooh, his defense, defense IVs is 1, though. This is the adamant nature. We don't want that one. 3 was the better, better one, right? And that is, I believe, the sassy nature. Am I right? Third one? Sassy nature. Okay. 3 is the one. 3 is the one. We're going to evolve you. We're going to use a star suite. Whoa, what did I do that for? We're going to use a star suite, and now we have to figure out when and where. Also, the time of day matters. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's kind of complicated, but I'm excited to try it. We are currently in a roofed forest. Here, let me hold a torch for you. We're currently in a roofed forest, and we have the star suite for the milsery. Now, if we evolve the milsery using a star suite at night in a roofed forest, we get a, a, a lemon cream, um, uh, what's it called? Man, what is this evolution called? Alchemy, I think? Yeah, a lemon cream alchemy is what I'm looking at right here. Okay, this is it. I'm going to try this. Milsery, please be lemon creamy. Show Milsery your moves. What does that even mean? Oh, check this out. There it is. I had to spin three times. That is so cool. That is a really cool mechanic. Oh, man, that's really cool. <laughs> that's so funny. I had to I had to look it up on the wiki. Oh, there he is. Your Milsery evolved into an alchemy. He's got decorate. Wait, what does he have? Tackle, aromatic mist, sweet kiss, and decorate. The user sharply raises the target's attack and special attack stats by decorating the target. Why would we want to raise the target stats? Probably a strategic move. We're going to go ahead and forget it for now. <gasps> Look at you. You are beautiful. Oh, there's the stars on its head because that's the sweet we used. And of course, it's a, it's the lemon cream milsery, so it's all yellowy and stuff. That is really, really cool. What a cool mechanic. I had to spin three times. <laughs> that's fantastic. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I, I, I say goodbye to you from my new backyard pond. In the next episode, I'll probably either have the cabin finished or build the cabin for you. It depends how I'm feeling on that day. I'm kind of excited about this milstery, though, or alchemy now, I guess. I want to know how to use it properly. I want to get it the best moves because I think this is kind of special because, well, not this one specifically, but the uh, different variants you can have of Alchemy is pretty, pretty awesome. Plus, we caught that bee drill, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and click the like button if you enjoyed the video and click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Say goodbye. Oh, I think she did.